Manitoban was on scene earlier today at the Legislative Building to cover a demonstration entitled Rally for a Sustainable Future that called for climate action. Not only was this event organized in part by a current student at the University of Manitoba, but numerous U of M students were also in attendance. The following are clips that the Manitoban obtained while attending this rally. No more coal! No more oil! Four, three, two, one, let's get our power from the sun! We do a disservice to the NDP party by not hitting them clearly and powerfully and from the heart on our ambitions with the Youth Climate Corps and organizing our elders on connecting society back to the sacredness of Mother Earth. Young people have been struggling to find job opportunities, suffering through housing and affordability crises. A Youth Climate Corps would employ thousands of young people in good green jobs that would leave them with the skills they need to continue working in industries to fight climate change while earning a fair wage. Our movements were and are successful. We've changed the conversation. We have been able to make it clear that fossil fuels have caused climate change and that a transition is necessary. We changed the conversation and made climate action a key issue for households across the country. And climate change is not a lie! Do not let our die. I'm standing next to Bianca, an organizer for this rally, um, calling for a sustainable future. And so Bianca, why do you think it was important to be here and important to organize this rally in the first place? Yeah, you know, my myself being a young person, um, you know, caring for climate change solutions and, um, you know, being a university student as well at the University of Manitoba, um, I'm concerned for our future. I'm concerned that we won't have jobs that are focusing on good green jobs, focusing on good wages, benefits, pensions, as well as job opportunities that are focusing on climate solutions. Um, organizing this rally today, it's, I can't say that I did this myself because youth want change, young people want change, students want change, they want job opportunities and this rally here today was in part with so many other students and young people that came together to support this cause. Thank you. And can I ask, what, what are the specific demands or what change would you like to see really occur by the provincial government or, or, or what are the demands really that, that your group has? Yeah, so the overall goal for Youth Climate Corps is to get a federally funded Youth Climate Corps, um, something that is public service where young people have a chance to gain those skills um, in good green jobs, in sustainable industries, um, and that has to be supported by federal funds. What we're asking today is for Manitoba to add their name to supporting the Youth Climate Corps within Manitoba, to supporting a Youth Climate Corps demand for federally funded Youth Climate Corps. And can I ask, has the Youth Climate Corps or, or yourself reached out to the provincial government or members of the government? Um, and what, what were those discussions, if any of those transpired? Yeah, so we've been, um, you know, reaching out to different union members, uh, different unions, sorry, and we have also been um, at a meeting yesterday with the Minister of Environment and Climate Change for Manitoba, as well as some other MLAs in the Environmental Caucus. Uh, our first, this is our first meeting. We had an explanation of what a Youth Climate Corps is, what the options are, and you know what they. This was an introduction, so we're going to have to have different meetings in the future for sure, um, seeing what the options are looking at, but the overall demand is to have Manitoba commit to a youth climate court. I'm standing next to Divya Sharma, the president of the University of Manitoba Students' Union. And Divya, why did you think it was important uh, to really attend this rally calling for a sustainable future? For sure. So number one, and most importantly, was we were actually invited by students to come to this particular rally. And something students and especially young people are so um, prone to seeing is in action, especially in, in respect to climate change, where, you know, it's often put on the back burner. And then, you know, the climate isn't going to stop changing if we don't do anything about it. So that's why it was so important to be here to support other students and other young people who are here today calling for action. Mm -hmm.
And what action in specific would you like to see levels of government take, be it the federal government or the provincial government? What changes in legislation or, or really any changes would you like to see be implemented? Mm -hmm. I think the message today was clear from the Youth Climate Corp today, which is um, from Bianca, who's actually a student at U of M. And what I heard was that youth deserve a seat at the table. And I would say that's true, not just of climate change, but the various different um, initiatives that the governments make policies on, the different levels of governments that make policies on climate change, we deserve a seat at every single table because young people are the ones who are going to be continuing to get affected by climate change. I'm standing here next to Michaela, the Indigenous representative for UMSU, uh, who's also a student at the University of Manitoba. And so Michaela, why did you view it as important to attend this event today at the Legislative Building? Yeah, for sure. So I think it's really important to attend this event because the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation is coming up. And I think it just really is important to emphasize the role that r truth and reconciliation has when it comes to climate action and land back and indigenous land sovereignty.